Hi guys, it's Mark Zippy, Mr. Sci-Fi, and behind me, you see the what was once the old El Cortez Hotel. I am in San Diego, just arrived for Comic Con, and the El Cortez holds a very special place in my heart. When I was a teenager, B. Joe and John Trimble would essentially save Star Trek for a third season. Look it up. They started uh, putting on science fiction conventions uh, in the early 70s. One was called Equicon, which was a Star Trek convention. The other, was, uh, the other was called FilmCon, which was a film convention, fantasy film, science fiction, horror. And I attended both of those, and this was a big deal for me at 15, 16, 17 years old to be going to a science fiction convention. I had not been to one with one exception prior to that, and uh, which was when I was 12, my, Fred, my friend Fred Bronson, who was in college, uh, and who also went with me to the Star Trek set when I was a kid, he took me to the banquet at the World Science Fiction Convention where the speaker was a guy named David Gerald. Now, David Gerald at the time was in his early 20s and he was the author, the writer of The Trouble with Tribbles, one of the most, one of the most famous Star Trek episodes ever written. And uh, I thought he was nice, but Fred thought he was an asshole. <laughs> but uh, little did I know that he had just graduated college attending Cal State Northridge with Elaine. So they knew each other and she actually read The Trouble with Tribbles in the first draft. And uh, she was very friendly to him, very sympathetic to him. So uh, pretty amazing. But then a few years later, I started going as a teenager to FilmCon and EquiCon and meeting amazing people. Uh, I played, I did the, uh, my radio play Lobotomy and played it from Mike Hodell and Terry Hodell, who were the hosts of Hour 25, the great science fiction interview show on KPFK. And they liked it and they decided to air it. And it was the first radio play I wrote that was aired to uh, Greater Los Angeles. So that was a big deal. A year later, I would sell my first short story at Clarion to Damon Knight, uh, the writer of It's a Good Life. Not It's a Good Life, I'm sorry, To Serve Man. But I ran around those halls many a year. Uh, those conventions ran at Film Con at uh, the El Cortez Hotel. I don't know, maybe it was four or five years. I'm not sure how many, but uh, but it was really great. I'm so glad that the Trimbles decided to do do this wonderful thing that was such a gift for all of us science fiction fans. And there were I, you know many people who attended it before they were famous. Rick Baker was selling. Uh, werewolf masks for $35. I wish I'd gotten one of those because later he used that same exact mask in the, in the Star Wars cantina scene. So anyway, this is a little blast from the past, but I'll be uh, uh, checking in regularly from Comic-Con. Remember, we have a Kickstarter campaign going. It's listed down there. Please throw some money our way. It's uh, the way we get to make stuff and share it with you. So, and that's about it for now. So talk real soon. Bye, guys.